It's not about fixing your life. It's about understanding the things that make you feel you have a f***ed up life. It might be wise to repeat that part that I just said. And not because I'm so brilliant, but because it's the truth. But if you don't, then that isn't bad. It just shows that your mind has become complacent. And that for the rest of this video, your mind will stay on the couch in the left part of your brain. Uninterested in the information coming into the right part of your brain. Because if I simply told you the secret on how to un your life today, immediately, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't try it. I mean, just look at the other videos you've watched about the seven steps of a stoic or ten rules of monk bound or other ancient techniques. Most of these things you have never tried. Some you did, but they didn't last. And there's virtually nothing you still do. Radical self-experimentation is the only way. All the others are gone by Sunday. The walks into a far, distant, unknown land where you connect the dots by yourself are the only walks that lead to your destination. Self-improvement tips, hacks, techniques may get you a better car. They will not lead you to your destination. You will leave this video without seeing lasting change in your life. That's the truth for 99% of people who are watching this. Because a human always defaults to his defaults unless this person is more desperate than he is comfortable. Only when his back is against the last wall standing, he acts. Only when all the boats are burned to the ground is when he finally fights for his life. When the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. This is when he starts walking. And that is the moment when you start to understand the source of the things that make you feel that you have a top life right now. It's the source that matters. No one seemed to look there. How can you fix a leak in a roof if you don't know where the leak is? How are you going to win the lottery if you don't know where to claim your prize? How can you un your life if you don't know where it's f***ed? Do you see? Don't try to stop the waterfall of pain. Instead, try to find the root of the river where your problems flow from. What I'm about to say next doesn't hit home until you're ready. I still want to say it anyway because there might be one person watching this who is, not because I say so, but because to almost everyone it's just too cryptic. Your mind is your source of all your pain and problems in your life. To be more specific, it is at the root of five traps in life. The traps of need, instruction, self-image, conditioning and attachment. Let's take a look at need first. You might need Netflix to feel good and escape from your problems. I think almost everyone needs their phone to maybe not feel lonely. I need my gym to feel healthy. Once again, don't believe me, just take them away and see how you feel. We even need people who walk by to smile back at us. So much need in our lives. 99% of people are imprisoned in this invisible cage of need. And the 1% who has realized may find a way out. And this leads me to instructions. Instructions don't work. You learn to drink by yourself. You learn to walk by yourself. You learn to eat by yourself. And except for IKEA furniture, everything worthwhile in life is self-taught. And once again, don't believe me, just look at your own life. And anyone who believes they need a coach to become the number one fighter in the world, or anything number one, has not realized the genius of the self-taught human. And this might trigger a lot of people, I'm not sure. They might start in to type their hate comments right now because they disagree. That's fine, because I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to the person who asks him or herself these questions. And to the others, keep following coaches and their instructions and see where it brings you. This brings me to self-image. It's a source of many problems in my life. The self-image of the successful entrepreneur that has many employees and makes lots of revenue. That was my self-image for a very long time. And that's what I got. I made over $4 million in revenue, hired over 45 people, until I realized that that is not what I wanted. And by the way, I'm Jordan. I'm showing how I grow my personal brand, achieve financial freedom, or maybe better said, remove the need of money and find peace in my life. And it may befit you to find out your own self-image, or sometimes maybe more than one. And when you find out, ask yourself if that is really who you want to be. Because the truth is that most of us do things for external reasons. We want things because other people imply or have implied that they are good for you. This is the trap of conditioning. And it's a trap because it's so 
invisible. Nobody talks about this. Or we all suffer from it. I mean, do you want a Lamborghini if you were the only human on Earth? Or do you want the Rolex or Gucci shoes if you were here alone? You wouldn't give a f That's the truth. But you're so conditioned and many people just can't help themselves. And a serious person spends time alone to unconditioning himself from everything and anything that he wanted and got because of other people. So that he may finally find out what he wants for himself. And this reminds me of a quote that I heard from Ellen Watts when I was maybe 12. I love you so much, I could eat you. When we get something we like, we get attached to it. When we love someone, we fear that they will leave us. And this fear causes an enormous amount of suffering in our life. This is a trap of attachment. And once again, all caused by the mind. So to un your life, you must eliminate the mind. Not reducing the mind, but destroying it. No mind at all. No self-improvement, self-perfection. Because why feel happy today to feel pain again tomorrow? Why calm the mind on Sunday to have it raging again on Monday? But, there's a big but, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't last if it becomes another chase. If you want to really un your life, don't chase it like monk mode, 75 hard, no fab. True desire is the only way. So what do you desire? That's the question I leave you with. And only the serious person may check the show notes. Talk soon.